FS1 College Hoops welcomes you to the capital city of Rhode Island, Providence, Rhode Island. They're fired up at the Dunkin' Donuts Center. NJIT, the Highlanders are here representing the Atlantic Sun Conference against the Providence College Friars of the Big East. See a little bit more zone than usual by NJIT today. Mention Fasikis with five of them in the last game gets his first three pointer of this game. One looks in front, Jalen Lindsay stops and pops for two. They're starting tonight. Chris Dunn right through a lot of traffic, passes underneath, and it's in. Saying when you're able to be effective, get inside, look at the quick reverse, he changes gears, that middleman has to come up. Ben Been in here to take on the Friar. Not easily done. Fasik is for three, rattles out, rebound. Nicely done that time, Jalen Lindsay back up for two. Jersey's almost coming out at Fasikis. They're all standing around, it looked like, defensively. Chris Dunn for three. Yeah, too, he wants to do here. They want to hang around as long as they possibly can. And right now, playing very well. Bento. So far, the leading scorer for the Friars, 19 points per game. Number seven boards. Wise, when big guys don't flash, when you're able to have three perimeter threats on the perimeter, boom, you find that sweet spot just below the foul line. The physical chess match. Don Ed Cool is playing more man to man. Another steal for Dunn. This time he finishes. Done on the steal and the slam. It's a 10 point lead now for the Friars, and Dunn electrifies this dunk again. Time is Chris Dunn. Star of the Friars into the Big East. Bullock long range, and that is good. The first half. Dunn cuts in in the air. Gets his own rebound back up for two. You don't want to get in trouble for taunting or anything like that. The little floater. Dunn changed his mind in the air. Looked like he was going to dish it off, and then. Beats three. Inside, Lamama goes on the left hand that time. Hey. Column of the box score. He's active defensively, he's efficient when the basketball's in his hands, and he took charge against that NJIT half-court zone early. He was also a threat on the perimeter when the Friars were unselfish with the ball. So strong, so tough to guard when he puts it on the deck, and then this is when Chris Dunn plays his best basketball, turning defense into offense. I've done a nice job defensively. Down low, Rodney Bullock left alone. Side, but long active defense and from the Friars force a turnover. Chris Dunn always has a head of steam looking to by the Friars. Dunn trying to cut in, a lot of traffic all by himself off the glass and in. That's one on four, Chris Dunn. This is tough action to defend when they work Bullock and Lamamba at the foul line. They'll spread out, Lamamba with a bid there, Bullock with a rebound and the basket. Lynn in and out. Rebound for Dunn. Quickly up the floor for the Friars and look out, Lamamba. Times have been able to a new spouse. Right here, Chris Dunn, after a lackluster half court possession, three guys touch the rock within seconds. Lamamba inside, and Lindsay gets the foul and the basket. Zone offense tonight that the Friars have gotten from right there. On the rebound that time for Coleman. Quickly back up the floor. On Lynn cutting in to the right hand, up and in. Hey, hey, we got to get some stops right here. They're, they're driving it on us too easy. They're driving the ball. We got to sit in the stands and guard. Looking down low, Bento little turnaround. On the baseline that time for Bento, he's feeling it now. That time. By Howard couldn't handle it. Chris Dunn finds Bullock on the baseline, gets the contact and the basket. Stunn, what a pretty move to elude a defender. Unselfish, sees his teammate Bullock up ahead of the field. Austin Handel gets it back. Toss court pass this time to Howard. And Kai owners that bring it down. Dunn on top. Lindsay will put it up for three. Two to 50, Jalen Lindsay with the three. Gives the Friars a 12 point lead. Let's go, Friars! Good look down low for Bullock. Turnaround for two. Because he can play on the perimeter, 
with any guard on the team, and then he's just so comfortable because of his size on the inside. That pass inside, Cartwright. Gets it stolen. Three pointer to Mondelein. Six points, but it's been larger, and this has been the biggest reason why, folks. This is what Jimmy Angles, NJIT's head coach, was concerned about the size factor, the strength factor, and the quickness factor of these Friars. When they're at home, they like to turn defense into offense, and when Chris Dunn is in the driver's seat, that's when the PC Friars play their best offensive basketball in transition. Anders, it's been a big thing. It's 23 points off turnovers for the Friars from the corner. Three-pointer that time. A year ago. Now cutting in is done. The foul on the basket. That was pretty again. Dunn doing it. A one-man show cutting in. You're right about one man show. One red defender, two, three, into the teeth of the zone. This together at the end of this game. A seven point lead for the Friars and the ball. Lamamba by himself for two. Teams that do not play passive. Devon Lynn for three. That's what we're worried about. A three point ball and something. Howard cuts in. Nice play, but couldn't get it to go. Rebound for Bentel. Fires quickly up the floor and fouled his bullet. Got to get back. Look at Luba that time in. Now 21 points in the game for Dunn. One with nine assists, ten boards, seven steals. And again, only one turnover. He'll get a bump. Rebound for a bullet. Lindsay will bring it up here, and that's going to do it as the Providence College Friars able to hold on to this one. They win 83 to 76. Halftime, they had a 10 point lead.